Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS and spec divide. Uh, we're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we're going to go to the NVIDIA parameter and after that we will go inside of the game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings and we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X3D or the 7950X3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again. Capture, capture. Make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode honestly is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power. Uh, back then, uh, we were recommending to use the best performance, but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that another thing uh, i want to mention is some recommendations so make sure that your uh, xmp profile is activated if you have it on your bios super important make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your cpu if you have an amd or intel also, make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest updates from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um, overlay. So NVIDIA overlay, I really recommend to deactivate this one. Sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering. You're losing some FPS with it. So I really recommend to deactivate it. Also, we're going to go to the control panel. I'm going to show you some optimization that you can do. So we're going to go to the manage 3D setting first. So the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode. Make sure this one is at on. Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's four gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're going to struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radeon driver if you have a Radeon car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So now inside of the game. So first of all, if you want to see all your different stats because you're testing some uh, settings, I recommend to go with text for all of them over there. Even your ping, you can put it if you want your packet loss and stuff. But you will see them on top left on your screen. So right now we're doing an optimization guide. We're not uh, tracking our ping. 
Uh, so pretty cool that they add that to the game. Uh, we're gonna go to the graphics section now. Display mode, super important to play full screen. By default, it's at window full screen. And in full screen, you have less input lag, better FPS. So super important to do that. Resolution, make sure that you're playing native over there. Don't lower your resolution to have more FPS. The game will look very blurry. Frame rate limit, I uncap my frame rate to have the lowest input lag. If you have issue with your thermals, you're playing on a laptop and sometimes... Uh, it's struggling, uh, maybe lock your FPS with the amount of Hertz of your monitor. So for an example, if you have a 60 Hertz uh, monitor, lock at 60 FPS. I know a lot of people have struggling with that. They unlock their FPS and after that they have stuttering because they have thermal issue. For the V-Sync, I recommend to go with off. Uh, again, lowest input lag possible. You can also add G-Sync and FreeSync if you want to use them. And the last one is render scale. I recommend to go with 100. You just want to play your native resolution. For texture, uh, if you have 4 gig and more of VRAM, you can go epic. 3 gig high, 2 gig medium, and less than 2 gig, go with low. Uh, effect and post processing, I recommend to go with low. You're gonna gain a nice 10% boost in your FPS. And also, you don't want those depth of field, bloom lighting effect, and stuff like that. You want pure visibility and pure performance. If NVIDIA Reflect is available to you, I recommend to go with on over there, so activate it. And the last one is DLSS. I'm not using it because the game runs smoothly. If it's very like last resort, if you're struggling with your FPS in this game, go with on and use quality. Uh, all those other parameters, the game is too blurry for me. So quality is a good one to use. Uh, you can gain like 10 to 12% in your FPS with DLSS enabled. But in my case, I'm not using it. So the last one is in general, uh, if you're using 4K or, or 8K uh, polling rate mouse and you have like stuttering and issue with your frame time, uh, you can definitely test this beta uh, option over there. It can help you. And this is pretty much it, guys. So if you have any question about uh, my guide of spec divided, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.